Hey there, it's Nate here from naterio.com. Today what we are going to do is cover three steps to use the phone to boost your profitability. I'm going to show you how to use the phone and get phone sales to help your leads and your sales funnels convert. So if you walk down any street, ride a public bus, or train, stroll through your local shopping mall, you will see a strange new phenomenon that has developed in the past several years. Most of the people you encounter will be interacting with their mobile devices. The rise of near universal web access and the affordability of smartphones, tablets, and other devices has provided practically unlimited access to a more streaming of videos, downloading books and ebooks, interactive games, and other software than most people can handle. Now, as a result, many people are overwhelmed with choices and they're caught up in the flush of nonstop, mostly free entertainment and information. Talk about a zombie apocalypse, right? <laughs> so step one, what you're going to want to do is shock your customers out of their stupor. Most businesses that work online today understand this change in our basic societal fabric. The biggest companies like Amazon, Alibaba, eBay, and others have responded by making their interactions with customers seamless. When you use one of these sites to buy goods or services, you never have to talk to a real person. Over time, this is conditioning people to accept the sterile, antiseptic way of doing business as the norm rather than the exception. You can see the results of this anytime you walk into a fast food restaurant or even go through the drive through of your local gourmet coffee kiosk. In many cases, people no longer see people as people. They are simply functionaries for consumers to get what they want. This is not a good thing for our society as a whole, but it can be a good thing for you as an internet marketer. That's because it's easy for you to cross through these screens your customers are growing used to putting up by simply following an interaction with a personal phone call. Hi, Jim. This is Kenny. From the website where you just bought you know, whatever product you're promoting, I just wanted to give you a call to thank you for your purchase. I hope you like it, and if there's anything else I can do for you, I want you to know that you can call me or text me at this number anytime you like. Okay, great. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, bye. So step two, you're going to want to build relationships. This isn't a robocall or an email or text automatically dispatched by an autoresponder, but a real human being personally reaching out to another real human being. And it can work magic in terms of building personal relationships with your customers. Because most people are no longer physically speaking or seeing the people they do business with, when you make an effort to create a personal one-on-one -on -one contact with your customers, it can really set you apart from your competitors. Simply following up with a phone call is one of the easiest and most effective ways to create the type of trust bonds that are essential for converting your prospects and your funnel into long-term customers and raving fans of your business. Think about how you do business online. Think about all the different websites you go to and think of the reasons that you don't buy. In my case, what I do is I have a team of sales professionals calling the leads for me so that they can interact with a real person. And you know what? After that, I'll even give them my personal contact information. In step three, you want to be responsive. Not everybody will reach out to you again, but for those who do, make sure you take the time to interact with them on a friendly, helpful, and personable level. Show them that your follow-up call wasn't just a one-time obligation or just another snarky marketing tool, but instead a genuine effort on your part to make a real interaction with another human being. So, using your phone to create permanent and profitable bonds with your customers is a great way to go against the grain and stand out your niche, especially if you're an internet marketer. Doing things a little differently is always going to convert more sales for you. Also, here's a secret tip I have. If you are like me and hate phoning people, guess what? There is an easier way. I have a phone team calling my leads for me. I simply capture leads from videos like this in various sites I have, which include landing pages to training programs, uh, free book and ebook download and giveaways, and then I have a phone team that converts those leads to sales. So they not only help me with prospects, but they also give me sales. Now, if you want more information on how you can get a team to close your sales for you, even if you are an online or affiliate marketer, click the link below to learn more. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out my blog at naterio.com. Take care.